Okay, good evening everybody. Uh, welcome to another video by Mr. Drone UK. This is my midweek uh, Bramley Moor Dock video. Um, I should say the Everton Stadium at Bramley Moor Dock. I need to keep um, calling it that now because it is the Everton Stadium there. Um, so this is my midweek one with my voiceover where I'm addressing your questions and comments from the weekend video which was the 27th of November 2022. So that's the footage you'll see in this. I, use, I now use the footage from the weekend to address the comments and questions from that video. So the footage you'll see is all from the 27th of November 2022, so don't get confused with that. Um, that's just a new format. Um, I, do, we, I do it in now. Um, so without further ado, um, let's get into the video, get addressing some of your questions and comments, and, uh, and have a look at it. I hope you enjoyed the video. Oh yeah, by the way, um, the, another thing you'll notice is you get me, you've got me introducing this video from sitting at home um, in the comfort of my kitchen instead of heading to site. Um, I'm just going to try doing this for a while because I was having to um, edit the video and then I was going to site because I personally think it looks better from its site introducing and introducing the video and that. But a few people even said to me, why, why are you bothering doing that? Um, just just doing it at the same time so let's give it a go anyway tell me what you prefer i take all your comments on board but anyway i'll stop talking now because i'm going to be talking for another 20 minutes or so let's get into the video i hope you enjoy it okay everyone so welcome to my midweek uh video of bramley moore doc as you'll see at the bottom of the screen there um all of the footage is used from my latest weekend video um Everton and lango rock don't like us to fly um midweek so you'll you'll see i'll just let the excuse me i'll let the video from the from the weekend just keep rolling as i'm talking as i'm addressing some of the questions and comments that you've put to me from my weekend video um you will also see me in the bottom corner of the screen which you don't usually see on these videos something new i'll try um again i'm <laughs> just always trying new things and i just think i'll put myself bottom corner so you can see um see what i'm doing as you'll see i sit here in my kitchen um basically watching the footage looking at your questions and addressing them so every now and again um i will pause um, to, to go to specific points of the of the footage and the video that you've asked about um, and then you'll probably see me just phase in and out where I've paused myself and looked something so okay so let's get let's get to it um, the other thing that you will get to see because um, you don't normally see any of this but what I do um, you'll see the questions come up as I look at them on my phone so the very first one is sorry started reading then because as i was reading somebody just actually put a question up then um the very first one is carl taylor who says thanks for the footage nick in the northwest corner you can see one entrance stroke exit at the very bottom of the stand if your seat is at the back of it, it if your seat's at the back it looks like it may take a while to get out it's the northwest corner john jones has also said on this note it's great work again nick if your seat is at the back of the big corner sections You'll have to wait forever to get out of the ground for a half-time cuppa. Very few exits, it seems. Let's have a look at that, guys. Okay, so Carl and John, first we're going to just do a bit of a reveal shot of this northwest corner. And I see what you mean, that there's like, um, like a, a big hole exit stroke entrance at the very bottom there. And then I've just, I've just uh, gone to a still shot. Here, and I'll, I'll stay on this still shot for a while because there you can see, I can see exactly what you mean. Um, and you can see the big gap just, I, I'm assuming that's what you're referring to, the big gap just between, um, you know, that, that the concrete structure, the concrete northwest corner um, and the very bottom. Um, is that the only entrance stroke exit that you're referring to? Guys, um, yeah, if, I mean... Surely they thought this through. Surely, um, you know. Surely they they're not going to be cramming everyone out of one one exit. Um, 
and cramming everyone in. You know, I just, I just can't imagine. I just can't imagine. That's what, that's what they've done. Um, is is there not? But that that's one thing I haven't picked up on 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 any of the illustrations. If if you guys have picked up on it, and and that is literally the only, the only ex- entrance and exit, then let me know. Somebody share me an illustration of that. Um, but I just can't imagine they, they'll have, built this. This big huge state of the art stadium and had just one entrance and exit up in the top corner um let's just let's just go and look at the the other side the um the south west corner let's just look at that side now okay so i've gone to the still shots of just behind the, the south stand there and it's it's difficult to tell um if that's the same sort of thing it doesn't look the same um it's entirely different Stand obviously it, it it doesn't look the same looking at that angle, does it? But um, yeah, that's that's I I have got you know what this does remind I've got some um some plans in that, that that somebody was very good enough to to send me. It's it's on another dongle. They uh, it's actually in my office. That's it's really annoying, um, and I feel like almost delaying this video till I get that. But what I will do. Um, unless somebody else shares, unless one of you guys shares it with me, what I will do is check out the the plans that I've got, the footage, um, not footage, the the the, um, the drawings that that I've got to to have a look at the entrances and exits um, and see you know if there is just just one where everybody has to filter out of. I just can't imagine it being so. But I could be wrong. I could be wrong because I haven't got it in front of me right now. Um, but we'll have a look at that. But thanks for bringing it off. If it is like that, then yeah, it's going to be a tight squeeze, isn't it? Um, yeah, yeah, okay. Uh, let's let's uh, let's move on. Okay, so next up we've got Paul Cropper who says, "Hello, Nick. Great video, mate. Thank you, Paul. If you pause the shot of the brick facades at six minutes and three seconds, you can see some kind of pattern on them in yellowish gold." Okay. Um, yeah, because you can see the the shots actually going across. Um, that that west stand now you can see the brick facades. So so Paul said it's six oh six minutes oh three and this is because a few people have asked if the the um Archibald Leach um cross sections are in because nobody can see them. So let's first go to the zoom in shot that I done on my on my video and have a look at that. Um that's coming up right now. Okay, so we're zooming in and this is where this is where he would have got it from, because this is what the shot included. But I will then then put the the freeze frame shot, the still up, um, right now of six minutes free. Um, so what you'll first you you might recognise. I've I've freeze framed that shot at six minutes free, and I've also zoomed in a lot using my my phone. I've done it on, and then screenshotted it and put it up here. So this is zoomed even more. Um, there are some some yellowish. There is some some yellowish um, sort of like um, faint mark that I can see. Paul, fair play, you're right. Um, do you know what? I'm I'm real that you spot that because I think it's even difficult to see on this on this big um, big zoo. Um, but it's there. But I don't know if that's anything to do with the the black marking. Um, Anybody, any idea, let me know. A few other people have said on my video, um, a few other people said that the, the the cross sections on the brick facades might not even be up on the the west stand where they've put those brick facades now, the ones we're looking at, um, because the west stand's going to be covered a lot in steps. They think it's only going to be on the east stand. So that could be a reason why we're not, we're not seeing it as much. Um, on the brick facades that are in place now, on the on the west stand, but um, but yeah, I don't know that that yellow that yellowish maybe it is something, maybe it's not. I I don't know, Paul. It's a good spot, but yeah, I I don't know. I'm not sure. Um, let's get out of this zoom shot and, and move on. But any anybody who's got any any info on that, um, please please do you know let me know. It, does anybody think that the the cross sections are not going to be on the on the one on the ones that are in place now up on the west stand and are only on the east stand 
Um, well, let's have a you know we'll have we'll have more of a look into it um, at some point. And yeah, everybody, let's have your comments, please. Um, let's move on. Okay, we've got Gary Banks, who has said hi, Nick. Thank you again for brilliant footage. No problem, Gary. Um, it's amazing how far the stadium's coming along. Yeah, I couldn't agree more. I saw the first roof sheet on and more brick sections put up. Many thanks, Gary. Yes, we've just seen the brick sections, but I'm glad you mentioned the, the roof sheet, Gary. A couple of others did too. Um, it, it, wasn't, it wasn't just Gary, but obviously I'm not going to throw loads. I think Gary was the first. I think that, that I come across it and mentioned it. So we're, we're coming up now. We've, we've come to... I've moved over to the... The, the shot that's going up, the this is up the north stand, so that's the northeast corner, and we're just moving up the north stand towards it to check out that sheet that's on the top, right there, in focus there. Yeah, that a lot of people noticed that. I did myself, you know, when I was when I was doing it. I think I mentioned it at the end, and we'll just we'll move shots now to to go the other way, having a having a look at it from a different angle. It's great seeing that city in the background, isn't it? Um, it's funny, isn't it, how they choose to, to start in the middle? Um, it's, it's a funny one, that. And what we'll do, we'll just go to a, to a still of it now to have a, have a good look and a little chat about it. So there, you, there you'll see it there, where they've put it. Um, they've, they've decided to put that, that sheet in, so to speak. I don't know what else I'd call it. Yeah, the sheets of... Um, no, would it be? It's not gonna be a sheet of steel, is it? But metal sheeting. But um, yeah, it's obviously connecting those those two those two trusses, which is the first sort of connection we we're seeing. Who knows? Maybe when we do our next weekend video, this weekend coming, we'll see we'll see more of those up. Um, like I said before, though, it's it's funny how they start and they choose to start in the middle, um, or the plans are to start there um, and maybe move out but yeah it's it's just it's just really good to see that that's the first sort of roof um, structure to to come up somebody did mention as well somebody said is that is that going to be an internal section or is that external um, I'm not obviously I'm not sure I'm not sure anybody any ideas but either way it's just great to see that that being added isn't it just adding so much more to it but uh, yeah great spot by everyone there Really good one. Okay, so next up we have Chris Kidd, who says, Hi Nick, great progress on the stadium. It's coming along nicely. It certainly is, Chris. Um, are the West and East stand completely concrete, or do you know if the next tier to be added will be steel? Thanks for another great video. We've got JEFC1969, and, and Jay um, does comment a lot with, with seems to have some great info. Um, Jay, I appreciate your comments as well. Jay's put, as far as I've seen from the CGI, it's all concrete. However, there will be steel struts at the rear of the next level to tie into the roof construction. Now, I'll just leave the video rolling here because um, we get to see the, the West and East stands as it, you know, as it keeps um, keep rolling around anyway. You know, they're in, they're in most shots. Um, but, um, Chris, yeah, all I can say is I, I agree with Jay. From what I've seen um, from the... The illustrations, plans, CGI. I, I think most of the east and west stands are concrete. Um, they are. They they were called uh, concrete mega structures in the the plans and designs. That's what they're referred to. And like I say, yeah, I, I agree with Jay that um, it's all concrete, apart from um, some some steel. They all maybe tie it together, um, so to speak. Uh, but I've said this many, many times, first to admit it, I am not a construction expert. Um, I'm not even a drone expert, although I'm, I'm pretty good and know quite a lot about drones. Um, here we go, we're going over the, the West Stand here as, as we talk about it. Um, but yeah, that's the, from what I understand, they are mainly concrete, um, mainly concrete structures, the, the East and the West Stand. Um, so, so yeah, anybody, you know, feel free to tell me differently, honest. Um, I, I don't mind at all if somebody pops up and says, actually, Nick, you're dead wrong about that. There's going to be loads of steel um, from this, 
from this point forwards. Fine. I I just didn't think there was. Um, and so and Jay's mentioned it as well. I I agree with Jay. That's that's what I thought that they that they are concrete mega structures um, made of concrete. Um, so yeah, I hope that answers that, Chris. Uh, thanks very much. Let's um, let's move on to our next one. Who is Paul Smith? Who says? Seems they're starting to fill in the external wall at the bottom of the west end now, where we will have the steps. Surely those steps will come after the stands are all built up, though. Um, okay, uh, Paul. So your um, your picture's great as well. That Batman sign. Um, well done, Paul. Um, so yeah, um, I you're right. We did see that. So there's a there's a couple of images there. <laughs> I'm gonna. I'm going to move to um, to some images to look at right now. We'll first go for the the reveal of the the west stand here um, as we as we move up and have a, have a good look at it from over the Mersey. Yeah, you can you can see right at the bottom there that middle section. They've started to, to fill it, um, and here's just some some um, some stills from different angles. And we'll stick to, we'll stick on this one. The that shows the. The entire site, but yeah, I, I see exactly what you mean, Paul. That that very that very bottom um, section at the in the middle middle of it that they've like you say they've they filled in the back. Um, let me have a drink. Excuse me, where the where the steps will go, and you've said you'll assume they'll add them at the end. I mean, I'd assume so because the cranes are there as well. Um, so I'd assume that. I'd feel the same, you know, my thoughts would be the same as yours, that, that you know, they're, they're surely going to do all the the stadium, right, and the stands, and then add the external parts. Um, I'd have thought so, too, Paul, but um, I never know. They'd be surprised that, you know, sometimes they start putting up middle sections and moving out some sections you don't expect, Um Middle sheeting, for example, um, on the on the roof trusses, and then start moving out. So, and you never know. You never know how they're building it and why. Um, well, you you can though, because you can look at the plans really. But um, but yeah, I think they do that at the end. But yeah, it's a good spot. Good spot, Paul. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay, and now we get to John Coatesy. This is a good one. Um, this one I wanted to I wanted to address this one to be honest because I did put a reply, but didn't hear anything. So John said, "Why all the adverts now? That's enough to put people off." Spoiling something I have watched since day one. Um, John, I did reply asking you what what adverts you were referring to. Um, to explain, YouTube run adverts on your videos when you enter into the YouTube program, which is. You know what I suppose the the target is when you start a YouTube channel. It actually wasn't for me, um, as if you've been watching from day one, you'll know. I started um, posting my videos on YouTube to because I didn't want to take up all my um, storage space on my my own devices. So I thought YouTube would be a good place to store them. It then turned into a channel. But anyway, um, when you enter into the YouTube program, which means you can monetize your videos and earn from them, YouTube run adverts on them. Um, you can stop that. I believe by becoming a YouTube premium member, which means you no longer get videos. Um, but is that what you mean? You you do have to to I think you have to pay to become a, a YouTube premium member. By the way, um, I'm not uh, promoting that at all. I'm just saying you can stop them that way. Is that what you mean? Or the other thing I've I've only thought of a short time ago. Do you mean when I say at the end about the um, if you would like to buy me a beer in my design and stitch, um, you know, the branded clothing, stuff and that, I'm not sure if you mean that. If you mean that, then I'm sorry it's putting you off. Um, if it is, um, and I'm sorry if it's putting anybody else off, but I only, I've done it because people do ask. There's quite a lot of people that ask me, can I get one of your hoodies? Can I get one of your hats? Um, how do I donate to your channel? Um, genuinely people ask me that so that's why I've done those sorts of things um, I also do it at the very end if, if this is your I'm, I'm guessing John because you haven't replied so if this is what it is I do it at the very end never at the beginning or anything like that 
it's at the very very end of my outro my very end speech so stop watching before the very end um by all means um if it's if it's annoying you i'm sorry if it is annoying you but um that is what it is if it's the youtube adverts you can become a youtube premium member and it's not me that runs those adverts it is youtube okay um so yeah um, I hope I've addressed that. Is it is it irritating anybody else? Um, I'm always happy for, for any feedback. I've said that before. Um, I hope not, but if it is, maybe I'll have to rethink. Um, okay, uh, let's move on. Okay, guys, so next is Stephen Richardson who says, who the thought it was only a year ago we had the first piece of concrete wall above ground and look at it now. Wow, cheers Nick, you're a star for those of us not local. Thanks very much Stephen, um, that's that's a great comment and this was a really good one I thought to finish on guys. So, let's have a look, Stephen mentioned a year ago today we had the first piece of concrete wall above ground. Let's have a look, this is one year ago, this is the 28th of November um, 2021, that's just above the wall. Um, this this is looking at the, what's the, the west stand now. And that's obviously the, the northwest corner looking towards the city. And last one, that's that's higher from looking straight in to the east end. So let's have a look at them now compared to how they are now. Like look at the difference looking just over the wall um, from from a year ago. Um, I put the, the, the year ago picture in the top corner to try and not block out any anything. But look at the difference. <laughs> it's unbelievable. Here's the one looking at the, the east stand from over the Mersey. Um, again, if you look at it in the top corner, there's just nothing there. I mean, even, we even see there's still some of the water um, in the dock. They haven't done. Northwest corner. It is it is unreal. When you look at it like this, um, you know, it, it, is, it is quite unbelievable, isn't it? One year to do all that. And here's looking, um, you know, higher up. Looking into it from from the east stand. Just there's still water, as you can see, still clear, still clearly water in there. Yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed that. I just thought, um, just move back to the, the the usual video as it does it does now. Um, but yeah, I just thought that was a good one to finish on. So thanks very much for that, Stephen. I've obviously got loads more of them um, that I will. Um, I will I will use to do um to do more time lapses now and again, but I might share some just just now and again in my videos. Another subscriber mentioned it um, recently in one of my videos. Um, maybe I should share, you know, the the ones from a year ago each time. But I might start doing that. But um, I hope you enjoyed that, guys. I'm gonna cut to my outro right about now. Okay, guys. So there you go. I hope you enjoyed that. Um, especially those little pictures at the end. Um, I, I, I actually really enjoyed that when I was looking back at them and, and doing them. So, uh, so yeah, just, just a really quick recap. Uh, we had Carl and John who mentioned the the northwest and, and the corner exits, entrance and exits. Um, so, yeah, we had a little look at what they meant. But, um, yeah, I'm unsure. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to look into it further and everybody let me have your comments on that. Um, what next? Paul Cropper mentioned the brick facades and there was uh, this, um, this yellowish gold patterns on them um, so we had a little chat about that um, Gary Banks said the, about the first roof sheets on the north the north um, northwest corner um, roof trust yeah absolutely we had a good look at that um, Chris Kidd asked about the the western east stands are they concrete only or steel a little chat about that any comments welcome on that um, Paul Smith said about the yeah the, they started filling in the outside of the west stand um ready for those steps to go up it looks like so so yeah absolutely um agree with you paul john coatsy uh it's a little bit of a careful one uh john's john's been watching since day one and i know he's met he's commented before so um i wasn't just trying to to call him out but i just i was interested to know john um what adverts you had a problem with um and if anybody's got that sort of problem please let me know um so we had a little chat about that and to finish off stephen richardson had I'd said about a year ago where it was a year ago so we had a good look at where it was a year ago and it was I personally really loved doing those sorts of those sorts of shots where we can see 
where it was um, using all my shots as well because I started uh, covering this on the 26th of July 2021 when Everton um, took over the ground so I've got loads of them loads of shots um, like that which is really good when I go back to it I really enjoy um, seeing them so yeah I think I might start adding a few more here and there um, but uh, yeah anyway guys I hope you enjoyed that I really do um, let me know about the format as well are you happy with me sitting at home? Are you happy with me being in the corner of the screen, which I just decided to do last minute? Um, let me know. Let me know. Honestly, I take all comments on board. Um, but for now, I'm going to shut up, leave it there, because um, I've, I've gone on for, for probably too long. If you would like to buy me a beer, you can do so using this link. No no pressure, just if you'd like to. Um, for any branded clothing, go to Design & Stitch, their website's there, and the link to, to my clothing directly is also there um thank you very much everybody uh please like share subscribe please subscribe um really appreciate it keep your comments coming as well loving all your comments and questions thanks everyone take care bye now